In this presentation, we are going to learn how to calculate the distance between cities based on their latitude and longitude. It will serve mainly as an exercise in absolute addressing in Excel. Here are the example cities we will be working with, and we are presenting their latitude and longitude in degrees. So we can copy this data and paste it over into Excel. And here's the result of the pasted data in Excel going to use some trigonometric functions in Excel, and the trigonometric functions in Excel work in radians, so we need to convert this data into radians, and so that's what's in columns D and E in the spreadsheet shown. Now, there are two ways to do this conversion. One is to note that there are 180 degrees corresponding to pi radians, so you could take, say, what was in B2 and divide by 180 and multiply by pi. But also note that there's a radians function built into Excel for just this purpose. So also you could just get that uh, conversion done by saying equals radians uh, of B2. The data that we see here is taking up five columns and ten rows. And we want another copy of the data, but we want a copy of that data that's going to be transposed with rows and columns sort of trading places. And so we need five rows for that. So at this stage, we're just inserting five rows above this data. So we are going to copy and then transpose this data. So first copy, highlight the data, and you can choose copy from the menu, or right-click and copy, whatever your preferred method of copying, perform it and, and copy the data. Now we want to paste the data, but not a simple paste, but a paste with a transpose. So we're going to highlight cell F1 and then use the paste menu because that will give us the, the most option and find the transpose option and then click it. And so we see here the results of the transpose paste. It's the same data, but rows and columns have been exchanged. So before the cities went down in rows, and now the cities are going across in columns. And before the different properties, latitude, longitude, and degrees and radians were going across columns, and now they are going down rows. This calculation depends on the radius of the Earth. I am giving the radius of the Earth in miles, and I am putting it in cell B1. So now it comes time to calculate the distance between two cities. One of the cities will be drawn from the original set of city data, and the other city is going to be pulled from the transpose city data, and we're going to base our calculations on their latitude and longitude. So we'll be talking about latitude 1 and longitude 1 and latitude 2 and longitude 2. Now there are several formulas for calculating the distance between two points on a sphere. Believe it or not, this is one of the simpler ones. The calculation involves the A cosine. Remember, that's Excel's way of doing the arc cosine or the inverse cosine. So it's the A cosine, open parenthesis, and then it's the sine of latitude 1 times the sine of latitude 2, plus the cosine of latitude 1 times the cosine of latitude 2, times the cosine of the difference between the longitudes, longitude 2 minus longitude 1, and then finally, when everything's closed up, multiply it by the radius. For latitude 1 and longitude 1, we're going to place our dollar sign before the letter so that when we copy across, the letter does not change. For latitude 2 and longitude 2, we are going to put our dollar sign before the number so that when we copy down, the number doesn't change. And for the radius, we're going to put the dollar sign before the letter and the number so that the radius doesn't change when we copy in either direction. So putting all this together, now the formula becomes equal a cosine open parenthesis sine open parenthesis dollar sign d7 close parenthesis times sine open parenthesis g dollar sign 4 close parenthesis plus cosine open parenthesis dollar sign d7 close parenthesis times cosine open parenthesis g dollar sign 4 close parenthesis times cosine open parenthesis g dollar sign 5 minus dollar sign e7 close parenthesis close parenthesis of the a cosine times dollar sign b dollar sign 1. 
And again, this was an exercise in absolute addressing. We're using all the versions of absolute addressing. Don't change the letter, but change the number. Change the letter, but don't change the number. Don't change either. So the formula was entered in G7, and then it was copied down to G15, and then it was copied across over to the O column. The zeros along the diagonal represent the distance between a city and itself. So uh, column G is New York City and row seven was New York City. So the different in G7, the distance between New York and itself is zero miles. Uh, somewhere in for Miami, it came out to be 5.9 e to the minus 0 0.5. Again, so remember that's Excel's version of scientific notation. And so it didn't come out to be exactly zero there, but it came out to be a very small number. So we'll just call it a slight calculational error. The last row is Philadelphia. Fifth, row 15 is Philadelphia. And so de there in G15, we see then it's about 81 miles between Philadelphia and New York City.